what is up YouTube IDM here and welcome back to another video so I'm going to show you guys how you can SSH from one iPhone into another iPhone this is pretty insane so basically I can control this iPhone from this iPhone and manipulate it and tell it to do things I can actually install tweaks from this iPhone or tell this iPhone to install tweaks and it's it's really quite amazing I can respring uh, like I said, we're going to SSH from one iPhone to another. Now, this iPhone is on iOS 15 beta, which is pretty cool. Um, and then this iPhone is obviously jailbroken because in order to SSH into a device, uh, it must be jailbroken. You cannot do this unless you are jailbroken. So if this iPhone wasn't jailbroken, this will not work because you need to be able to install a package uh, to do this. Uh, but like I said, this iPhone isn't jailbroken. And the application you guys are gonna want from the App Store is called Shelly. Pretty cool application. Like I said, we're gonna SSH and run commands to manipulate this iPhone, which is pretty cool. Now, of course, there's no wires connected. This is all over Wi-Fi, so completely wireless, and it's pretty damn sweet, like I said. So we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max, iOS 15 Beta, and then we have the iPhone 10s Max, jailbroken on iOS 14.3. Now you can do this with the uncovered jailbreak, you can do this with the Taurine jailbreak, and you can do this with Checkrain. So you can do it on any of the jailbreaks, it's totally possible and it's pretty damn awesome. And this is honestly something that I would highly recommend to anybody that's, you know, looking to get into jailbreaking is to learn how to start, you know, doing this stuff because it can save your jailbreak. But anyways, on the jailbroken iPhone, we are in the jailbroken state. So if I go ahead and open up Cilio, as you can see, everything loads. So we must be in the jailbroken state as well. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is install OpenSSH. So if we search, I already did it, OpenSSH, we need to install this package here. Now it is different depending on which jailbreak you're using. If you're using the uncovered jailbreak, uh, you will still uh, install OpenSSH, but it is by a different developer and it is technically a different package. But since I am on the Taurine jailbreak and I have Cilio, I have this version of OpenSSH. But regardless to what jailbreak you have, just install OpenSSH. The next thing that you can do, and this is kind of a, you know, a little bonus, is to install OpenSSH settings. Uh, so install that package as well. And that's going to let you adjust your OpenSSH settings from settings really quite cool. You can toggle it on or off. You can permit root logins, re require password, uh, require key. You can change the SSH port and some other stuff here at the bottom. So this allows you to control your uh, SSH. It is not required to do this though. So now that we have installed those packages, uh, the next thing we're going to need from the jailbroken iPhone is its IP address. So if we go into settings and we back up here, go into Wi-Fi, and then if you click on the little I there, it will show you information about your, your Wi-Fi, and you need the IP address, which is found at the bottom there. Now, I'm not gonna go in there because it does show other details about my Wi-Fi, but uh, just know you need your IP address. Click the little I, it's towards the bottom, and it just says IP address, okay? So take note on that. Now we can go into Shelly, and I'm going to establish a new connection to this iPhone. I've already done it, this is for my iPhone 10, and now I'm going to make a new connection to my 10s Max. So for the user at server.com here, you just put your IP address for your iPhone in. So mine is 192.168.1.6. And then I'm just leaving the port as is at 22, and I can click on connect. And now we are connected, um, or we are going to log in to connect to this iPhone. So we want to log in as root, so R-O-O-T, click enter. And now we need to input the passcode for this iPhone. Now, by default, the very first time you do this, it is A-L-P-I-N-E. Click enter, and then you will know that you're in your iPhone because it will say the iPhone name at the top there. So the first thing you guys wanna do, and I can't stress how important this is, is you need to change that default passcode to something unique, something that you are not going to forget. And to do this, you just type up P-A-S-S-W-D and then click enter. And as you can see, it's asking for a new passcode. So I'm actually gonna do that real quick. 
Okay, it does it doesn't show it. It doesn't show you a preview, but I do have that new passcode input and now I'm gonna click return. And now it wants you to retype that password. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, now I have retyped out the password. I'm gonna click enter. And now I have changed the root password. I also like to do the password for mobile as well. So password and then mobile. And then click enter. And again, new password. I'm gonna type that out now. And then just click enter, retype it. And just click enter again. And we have changed the passwords. Like I said, I cannot stress how important that is. If you don't reset your passwords, let's say you go to Starbucks, you have open SSH installed on this iPhone and you connect to the Starbucks Wi-Fi. Anybody else on that Wi-Fi, at least if they know what they're doing, they technically can look up your IP address for your iPhone and log right into it and start manipulating it. So you do not want people to be able to do that. So you need to reset this password. Uh, but now that we've done that, we can do some really cool stuff from a non-jailbroken iPhone to a jailbroken iPhone. So one thing I'm gonna demo real quick is to just restart the springboard. So S, B, reload. If I can figure out where the D is. So S, B, reload and boom, click enter. And now my iPhone is doing a respring. Pretty damn crazy. I can also put this iPhone into safe mode. So, oh, apparently I typed out something Oh, I only did one L, so you gotta watch out for this. So kill all negative 11. Springboard, so now that I have typed it out correctly, uh, that will force that iPhone into safe mode. So now if we go to unlock this iPhone, just give it a second here. And there you go, Springboard ran into a problem and is now in safe mode. So you can manipulate a jailbroken iPhone from a non-jailbroken iPhone and I think it's pretty damn cool. Of course, like I said, I'm going to be expanding on the, all this terminal stuff and show you guys some pretty awesome things you can do. Um, so hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.